Oh shit, is that a helicopter? Oh, that's a fat old helicopter. I hope that's not after me. Nah, can't be. So I wanted to give you guys a little rod down there. So we already had a slight rod down, but you have that like a proper in-depth look. So I'll just I'll put the camera some different angles and walk around it and basically speak about this bike. So it was bought as a Neo 1200, it's still got a standard motor, different controller and battery in there straight away. I'm going to pull on about 5,000 amp at peak at the moment, I'm waiting to get a bigger battery in there. One of the selling points on this bike for me, put you down there, see that pit bike brake, and I'll take you to the back over there. You see that pit bike brake? Now all the other little electric pit bikes have like little mountain bike brakes, but this has got power pit bike brakes. Mm. Bear in mind, the swig arm isn't a proper pit bike swig arm, but it's still a half decent swig arm. But it still takes a 10 inch proper pit bike wheel. And I'm going to buy the 12 because I think I'll get away with the 12 on there. There's a fair bit of gap in there. Definitely get away with the 14 on the front. There's plenty of room there. Might get a different back shock. Them forks are spot on as well, and the headset and everything. It's a proper like motorcycle. And I will give uh, them this, yeah, they're not full welds, but I will 100% pick up this company. Like, you can see the weld in there. Like normally, they come all uh, made out of all full steel and badly welded, but this is this is decent. I'm really happy with this. Build it. Obviously, it doesn't come on a screen, it just comes with a couple of lights for the battery. But I'll put an SW900 on there because I'm a top geezer. Mm. But that's it, really, guys. We're just waiting now to unlock the full potential of the bike the chains it comes down over a taf and there's nothing wrong with this chain system it's working fine but i feel like it would be a lot better with a 420 i'll be able to change the gearing but we're waiting for a 60 volt battery in that bad boy it should be good and i'm yeah, i'm just really really impressed with it i mean moving this all the switches and stuff like it's pretty cool isn't it this seems pretty solid hmm. Oh my god, time for the hill climb. So we just came, jumped out the van, we've just come straight to the stairs. These are the super high stairs that nothing can go up. I'll sit on the back to get some more grip. See if we can come. Oh my god, guys, it's doing it now. Them settings, oh my Jesus Christ. Oh, whoa, it did it. That's mental. Some hill climb ability that is. Trying to go easy on it. Oh, big bump there. Poor little bike. Oh shit, is that a helicopter? Oh, that's a fat old helicopter. I hope that's not after me. Nah, can't be. Can't be. Oh, 
Stupid in it for a little bit. Whoa. <laughs> He's just going to try and come over and walk, talk to me, I think. And I, I just don't want him to. Yeah, he's walking over here as well. I can't people just leave me alone and just film a little video on my bike. Look at the sunset and it's beautiful. Well, he's going to be trying to go that way. Look at the turf. Last time I went across that road, I could not get back across this side of the road. So I don't want to go that way. I might give it a little top speed test down there. Speedo is not working, right, guys. So don't have a go at me for just having the voltage out. But the voltage is kind of more important than the speed right now. Right, he's just creeping me out. Definitely feels like a mini star. Got so much more grip than that I had on the mini bike. But at the same time, there's a lot more weight here to control. So I need to, I, I, I keep trying to ride it like it's a mini bike, but it's not, it's sort of like a little motorbike, isn't it? Go. Jesus Christ, it's still quite quick, isn't it? I need the gear and sort out as well. This bunny rabbit, oh, a bit muddy. Oh, really muddy. Oh, from the move, I've got. See, this is the thing I, got, I wasn't used to. We can put a kickstand up here, guys, and explain some stuff. Put the battery set to cool down as well. Poor little battery on that giant controller. All right. Turn the kickstand up. All right, hang on, let me take my helmet off. Gloves. The sun is setting. Good couple of trails. Where's the battery? Oh, it's too heavy to do that. I want to pick it up and turn it. I keep thinking about that. What's say about how much does this weigh? It weighs quite a bit. I will not lie to you people. It's a bit muddy. Bloody out bumpy here. Oh, 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 remember, this is what I was going to say in the first place. With this bike, so it was a bigger bike with the geometry, everyone that rides motocross knows this. When you want grip on the back wheel, you sit there. When you want your weight centered, you want to be there. When you want your weight in the front wheel, you want to be there. And I just need to get used to the fact that you have to kind of move around on the bike. Because the mini bike, I only had enough space to sit just on the seat, barely. So you couldn't really change the position. You read it more like a bike. But a push bike rather than this is what more like riding a um, oh, motorbike. So overpowered. Oh, brilliant. It's still not fast enough though, guys. We're going to change that gear and 
my traction before. And we're gonna um the hell. Yeah, we're gonna change the gear and change that battery up. Keep we're gonna keep this controller because this seems to be a good controller. I did well modifying this controller. Before it had absolutely nothing there, there was just no beam. And with the mini bike going down there, it was so bumpy because it just didn't have suspension. But this actually has proper suspension, it has proper tyres, maybe little, and it's got a nice bit of weight to it as well. That I'm certainly already learning how to ride it. I'm not really used to it now, get kind of confident like that. Whoa. That's the two brakes, too on. So much less bumpy than the mini bike this is. The mini bike was atrocious. Literally got tears coming out of my face because this little thing's just so quick. I hope it, mind you, it never looks as quick on the camera as it is in real life. Isn't it? Why's that car just stop there? I don't have a number plate. I think this road is private. I ain't got my phone up there. Mm -hmm. I think I should go down that steep way you got to, man. I think I should. from somewhere, I don't know where it is. No, I'm sorry, man. Damn, Brad. <laughs> oh, it's bumpy on her. Man, these forks are so good for what they are. I've got to give these forks massive props. I can just see them pushing the brake cable in and out. Like they're actually working in the back shop. I love it when you buy something and it actually works. Brilliant. Oh, I need to be careful around there. There you go, sit forward. Remember what I learned in the motocross video. There we go. And then we've got grip on the front wall. We've got more grip on the front wall. Sitting like that. Now we're going to go downhill. Oh, I can't remember how to go downhill. If you sit back, oh, I think, yeah, you sit backwards. Heavy on the back brake. And then you feather the front brake to make sure the front wheel doesn't slide. Or is it the other way around? Does the back wheel supposed to slide? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to sit in the middle. Oh, I think this is worse. Oh, I need to watch that video again few times whoa I don't know what to do here I need to watch some in-depth videos now to ride a motorbike it's, I'm not sure I thought I knew because of mopeds and everything but... there's the old shag and wagon All right Let's pop the front wheel up quick Let's pop the front wheel up So dark through there. Oh, we've got a that wheel is sliding right there. See, this is where is a good test of this bike. This look, because this one would be like more of an sort of the race I'd want to give it like, like a one ten. It'd be like proper all different terrains, all different obstacles long distance so they can't complain i'm not having got the fuel tank i'm gonna put the camera on backwards and see how it looks it's a bit awkward i hope that ain't is that is that camera facing fifty or well, it's got to be down a bit isn't it
Oh, Angenberg. Oh, Angenberg. Oh. Yeah, that goes.